evening, friends, family, other <laughs> enemies. <laughs> no, it's good to um, see you guys. Good to be back on this lovely Tuesday evening here in Australia. Uh, I find myself in the chapel at Cathedral. Sorry. Uh, apparently, last time I was here, I was upgrading my spells. So a few things planned for today, nothing overly exciting, but that's not the point. The point is to have fun, and I've got a few fun things I want to do today. I want to go exploring, I want to visit the lighthouse, I want to go snorkeling, and I'm going to earn that hideous, ugly, ugly dress. Hey, Jamming! Welcome back! Frenemies, yes. Hopefully, the mighty frenemies, though I wouldn't know. I'm pretty... <laughs> I tend to have friends, enemies. <laughs> don't tend to do that bit of both business. I don't know. I'm, maybe I'm too brutally honest. <laughs> so how you guys doing? Happy Tuesday. I actually don't know where I'm going. Where am I going? West Fork. Oh my god, am I carrying too much crap today? Oh, I've got a few quests in the mix. Let me check the bank. I forgot what's in the bank. Let me go have a look. It's been so long. That's what happens Greetings. if you don't play for a few days or you play on other tunes. At least for me, because I have a terrible, terrible memory. King's honor, friend. I'd like to check my deposit box. What have I got? My dress, a dress, a dress. Yeah, just pretty much dresses, isn't it? Fireworks, club. Some candy. I will follow you all around Azeroth. It is nice. Uh, should I put anything in the bank or is it all stuff that I need? Let's put the silver bar in the bank. Maybe I'll need that later. Probably don't, but just in case. Light feather, I'll save those for later. Because when I get levitate, I'll need them. Uh, Verna's note, flask of oil. That's for another quest that I don't have yet. But I might pick that one up today. My box of chocolates. Life is like a box of chocolates. the alliance. Because life is delicious and messy and I don't know. What else is chocolate like? Hey, buddy. <laughs> How you doing? Oh, yes. Thank you. I had that on my notes. To talk Like number one on my notes to talk about. And of course, I don't even look at my notes, do I? Uh, officially affiliated this week. Very exciting. I wasn't expecting to get that this quickly. I'm really, really grateful to everyone who's followed. Uh, hopefully I can keep providing enjoyable content that is at least interesting or entertaining in some way. Might be with you. Maybe calming, maybe stressful. Well met. I don't know. But it's certainly content. It is a thing that I am doing. Be careful. Um, I know on Saturday morning, I sort of wasn't quite sure what to expect doing a stream in the morning because I did a morning stream the week before with um on the PlayStation playing Fallout 4 and it was very different to what I expected but I, I mean I didn't know what to expect but I sort of was a bit overwhelmed by sort of how many people were online and chatting and watching and and I wasn't sure if it was a time of day thing or if it was the game um so I thought I'd try again on Saturday and play World of Warcraft and there wasn't um anywhere near as many people watching and I sort of let it get to me and I shouldn't have because it's not what it's about. But you know how it is when you're self-conscious and you go, oh no, nobody's interested in what we're doing. But I sort of had a bit of a reflection the last couple of days looking over my page and I saw that a lot of my videos are getting a lot of views um, within 24 hours after they go up. So while, you know, people aren't watching at the time is I know this is 2, 3, 4, 5 in the a.m. in the morning for a lot of people. Um, especially on the other side of the world because, you know, I'm hiding on the underside of the earth and everyone else's top side is, you know, still asleep. Uh, so it's really nice to um, see how many people are coming back and watching it, you know, sort of the next day, day after. It was really cool. Um, so if you're one of those people watching this tomorrow or the next day or the next week, a uh, massive thank you. <laughs> I really appreciate you and I appreciate you popping in. Um, feel free to say hi on Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, whatever. Or just lurk and enjoy the show. Whatever suits you. Alright, so. My mission, I'm going to get this ugly, ugly, fugly, ugly dress. 
from Saldine. Oh, but first, let me summon my Mr. Bork Bogok while I'm here. I oh, know I keep rearranging my bags. I'm a bit pedantic. With too much crap. Let's put everything in the one bag. Got so many quest items. God, how many of them do I need? 14. Oh, one more bandana. All right, well, we'll definitely fix that one today. you got to love the paranoia, right? <sighs> I'm always so paranoid. Paranoia, paranoia, everybody's coming to get me. Sorry, again, for my awful singing. We'll try and get better at that. For your ears. Oh, yeah, let's rebuff. Buff, buff, buff. Getting buff. Somebody had a good joke about buffs the other day. Now I can't remember what it was. I'm very disappointed that I can't share it with you. It was about getting buff. Are these the buffs you need? Or I don't know. They were much cleverer than I am. Cleverer. See, this guy. Look at this one. Defending the land. Something came nearby and he attacked it. She attacked it. Sorry, misgender. Well, maybe. I, I didn't ask her you gender. Need something? Preferred pronouns. But sh I'm going to say she because that's a female looking tune. Ran up and defended the lance. Not like Guard Parker, who just stood there while I got murdered by spiders. Because that guy is a jerk. Now, we'll never forgive him. His two timing ways. Cheating on Daisy and whatever the other girl's name was. I've already forgotten. No, I honestly can't remember what her name was. Villainese! Patrice! Marsha! No. No, I lost it. I'm terrible with names. Like, absolutely terrible with names. People be like, hi, my name's Mark. And then the next week I'll be like, so... John? I'll be like, Mark! Obviously! And I'm like, I'm sorry! <laughs> I really am the worst with names. Oh my god, there's somebody else here killing things. I don't see them anywhere because I can't see another player, but that is a dead watcher. That's pretty cool. Who knows? Maybe I'll make a friend. Maybe. I have Mr. Bok Bogok. I don't need other friends. And that's right, Mr. Bok Bogok. Oh my god, this guy's got to stop Oh, it's because he's left 15. I'm like, why is he resisting everything? Because he's much tougher than I am. But I have a magic wand now that he's going to keep resisting. <laughs> Seriously. Oh. And that was how she died. For the millionth time. But look, my, my um, skill in wands is increasing, so that's something. That ability isn't ready yet. That ability isn't ready yet. Well, it's ready now because I'm afraid of dying. Let's keep whacking him with the wand that he's resisting. Stop resisting! That spell isn't ready. Oh my god, that spell isn't ready yet. Well, when will it be ready yet? There we go. Hops. Whoop leather boots. Oh, I need hops. I'm gonna pick up a quest later that requires hops, so I'll keep that. Um, do I have any water? No, oil. Milk. Let's have a milk drink. Milk drink. Drink of milk. You just made the list. <laughs> yes, my list of enemies. It is a list that is one person long so far. But it will grow. It will grow with time. Never have too many enemies, am I right? Because what's a hero without enemies? You need them to challenge you. I guess. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a slow quest. Especially when he keeps resisting. Stop resisting arrest. So slow. As long as I don't die. That's still recharging. That's still recharging. Let's sigh. There we go. So I'm also hoping to get to level 
I was optimistic and said 16 in my head, but I think I'm going to aim for 15. I'm only two bars into 14, so I think 15 is a more realistic goal for today. Maybe if I stay on for um, three hours instead, but I've got washing I need to do tonight. Yeah. And it's Tuesday, so I can't run any late night dungeons. Because Tuesday night is Tuesday morning server time, which is when they do the um, server upgrades. So Tuesday's always like the one night I can't do super late. That's why it's good night for the it's a good night to do the stream because I sort of restrict myself to those couple hours. But that said, I know what I'm like. I'll absolutely be logging on after this and checking my mail and my auction house and seeing if anything's sold. And then one of my friends will be online and I'll be like, hey, what are you doing? And they'll be like, not much. And I'll be like, you want to do something? Because I'm always the instigator. I need a target. And then we'll end up running something for like four hours and it'll be two in the morning and I'll be like, crap. No, it won't be two in the morning. It'd be midnight and the thing will shut down. I'll be like, oh, I better go to bed. But even yesterday, um, I'm just going to see if he has any Need help? water. Because, no. Light bless you. Damn. So I'm thirsty. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. So I was just... One of my friends came back. Actually, two of them. But one this week, one the week before. Week before that. I don't know. Recently. Uh, but yeah, one of them came back this week. Haven't seen ages. And the other one who came back a couple of weeks ago... Uh, and I messaged, you know, both of them. I was like, oh my god, you're back. Let's totally quest together and have some fun. Uh, I was questing with one of them the other day. I really want to say yesterday, but I have a funny feeling maybe it was the night before. <laughs> um, one of my other friends is, messages me halfway through. She's like, oh, you know, can you come and heal um, this dungeon? Because she's doing her elite... Um, Elite Mount, Epic Mount quest for her Warlock. I was like, oh no, I don't have time because I was about to have dinner and stuff. But I said, oh look, you know, if you still need someone after, hit me up. Anyway, as soon as I was done with dinner, I'm like, alright, I'm ready. I'm, you know, let's do this. She's like, oh no, we've got another healer. I'm like, okay, no worries. Um, oh, hang on, what's this? Uh, maybe the milk is UHT, otherwise that milk is long gone and becoming cheese. Right, that's what I was saying last time. I was like... How gross. Like, ice cold milk? I don't believe that it's ice cold. Not when it's out here in farmland being carried by a golem harvest watcher. I'm like, pretty sure this thing ain't ice cold. I mean, maybe. Maybe he's a fridge in there, but I have a feeling he's like my laptop and he gets bloody hot. He's overworked. Um, oh, yeah, anyway. So, my poor friend. She ran the dungeon, got to the last boss, and the healer that they got bailed on him like right at the end so she messaged me again she's like hey <laughs> no we said we don't need you but healer bailed we're right at the end can you come in jump in at the last minute and help heal for this boss hey Ascensity I'm so sorry if I say your name wrong I know I've been talking to you all week but I am the worst at pronouncing things thanks for popping in this is what I sound like welcome to my show <laughs> I don't know if I really call it a show, but it's certainly a thing that is happening that I am involved in. Leveling is going good. Uh, leveled up two levels last time. <laughs> I was going to say last week, but yes, technically last week, so it's Saturday, which is certainly an upgrade. But the Valentine's special, which was the one before, I went up zero levels, but it was all about the dresses that day. It was not about leveling. Anyway, back to this story. So... I jump in, they summon me because it's Wallet Quest, which is great. Um, we kill the boss, and then you have to kill, like, if, if you've ever done the Warlock epic mount quest, you know what I'm talking about, but there's like wave a wave of like endless demons coming. And I'd done it once before to help another friend. So I'm like, I know what we're in for. You know, there's no mana breaks, this is just, you know, it just keeps going. And we're doing really, really well until right near the end, this one demon kept putting me to sleep. And every time, and I'd keep saying, look, I'm asleep, I'm asleep, guys. Like, I cannot heal. I'm just, I'm stuck here. I'm out of mana. I took a pot. It's on cooldown. Um, and we wiped. But it was like, by the time we wiped, it was like the very, very last demon 
I managed to like do as best I could. I was the last one to die and I took out the last demon right at the very end. Like I had all these dots on him. The um like sh you know, this shadow and pain and a couple others. And so he killed me at the same time. I, I you know, he killed me f first, technically. But because he had all those damage over time, so he dropped dead at the last second and I had a soul stone on me. So I popped up, rezzed everyone, and Warlock was able to get a mount. And then I, you know, just sort of Got a portal back and jump back in with my friend. I think the whole thing did not take long. Yeah, die them all. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good. I got the name right. Okay, great. <laughs> good. I'm, it means I'm getting better. I'm sure somebody came in one time and they were like, hey, and I'm like, hey, so-and-so. Uh, I'm sorry if I didn't pronounce that right. And then it's like, they were gone. And I'm like, okay. Obviously, I did not get that right. <laughs> but yeah, so it was a lot of fun. I was really glad I was able to help at the last minute for that but yeah it was really quick and it was a bit hectic um, but it was good I made a new friend who I'd actually played with a few times but on different tunes so she'd been on a different tune and I'd been on a different tune but she started talking and I straight away I was like I know your voice <laughs> like do you have a tune called this or this or something and she's like yeah you sound familiar too and I'm like yeah you might know me on this other tune she's like oh yeah and I'm like yeah so I made sure to add her as a friend so I was like we can actually remember which are her t which are her tunes and which are. So when I see her online, I'll be like, "Oh, that is her." Which I think's really cool. Yeah, <laughs> save the locks day. Totally healer to the rescue. It's a good thing about being a healer is you know they're in high demand. But I like that I'm able to help people. Like I like being able to you know jump in and you know save the day. Feels good. But also, you know, they're my friends, and I like to help my friends out. Because I like to pretend that I'm a good friend sometimes. Especially given how often I get some of them killed. Usually not in dungeons. I don't tend to get people massively killed in dungeons. But when I'm questing with my friends outside of dungeons, I tend to go a little bit nuts. My poor, poor paladin friend when I'm maging, and I'm still learning how to mage. I don't know how to mage. Somebody told me that if you use a wand when you're a mage, you don't know how to mage. And I'm like, well, then I don't know how to mage. But I already knew I didn't know how to mage. But I keep trying to do AoE. And I keep being like, let's get two more. Two more. And he's like, no, this is enough. And I'm like, oh, look, there's like 12 enemies. Let's AoE. And he's like, stop it. We're going to die. <laughs> and then I die and he doesn't. I'm like, see, it's fine. You didn't die. And he's like, yeah, but you died. I'm like, I don't care if I die. As long as you don't die. You could just res me. <laughs> they supply him with plenty of water. So that he doesn't have to worry about... <laughs> <laughs> mana frostbolt step um it's no less frostbolt more um frost nova and blizzard and then i ran out of mana so i'm like um oh what's the other? arcane blast just run around in a circle psh, 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 psh. so much fun PvP brain, PV, not PvE brain. Yeah, see, I don't think I could do PvP. I think it, I know I tell everyone, like, I tried it once and I ran out crying and screaming and swearing I'd never do that again because it is so different and it requires, I think you, I think PvP is way harder because you have to know how other people play, whereas PvE, you just sort of smash the enemy. Like, you know, once you got a, ha a hang of how um, a Harvest Watcher works, you know, you just, you know, bubble and smash, bubble and smash. Whereas, you know, you might figure out how one player warlocks. And you're, okay, now that's how I take on a warlock. And then you go after the next one and it's completely different. Like, they can play completely differently. And so none of your tricks work. I'm like, you can't... People are way more unpredictable. So I reckon that's way harder. As much as I like a challenge, that's too scary. I reckon I'm going to die here. And then she died, somehow. Because she is a fail and didn't... Didn't check her rear! <laughs> Do you think I didn't check my rear? That doesn't sound like me. I'm always checking my rear. Just not checking behind me. <laughs> I think I'm funny. You guys don't need to think I'm funny. You can laugh at me, not with me. Uh, it's weird there's times PvP requires more skill and then you remember all the BS that plagues PvP. <laughs> it's 
so it's just unfun. Yeah, see, my only experience with PvP was very much unfun. I mean, I did have it. It doesn't count as PvP, but I did do a duel with someone the other day that was a lot of fun because it was really, really dumb. <laughs> We were, we were at, um, outside Upper Black Rock Spire waiting for the rest of the raid crew. And he starts to duel me, this uh, warrior, and I was my paladin. So I declined, because I never, I never do duels. I'm like, no, no, we're not doing this. And he goes, no, 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 I'm just going on a quick bio. I was just going to leave it on auto attack. And I was like, oh, okay. I can do auto attack. That, you know, that could be fun. Um, how am I going with this? Are we done yet? Yes. Done. Okay. Let's go back and get this hideous, ugly dress. Um, so I was like, all right, we'll do auto attack. And I did auto attack and we just sort of, <laughs> cause he was a tank warrior and I was a tank paladin and it was just kind of like this, dink, 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 dink. And I'm like watching the health bars on both of us, not moving. By the time he came back, it was like this, like tiny slither missing from both. And he's like, okay, this is ridiculous. We'll do like actual killing now. Ready? On three. And I'm like, okay. So first thing I did was, um. Judgment, stun him like, <laughs> and he's like, "What? You can't just stun me straight out the bat!" And I'm like, "Quick, seal, you? seal, seal, <laughs> spell, spell, spell." This guy applauding me with his little golf clap. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, Farmer Saldine. Good work, friend. You've earned your pay well. Who knows? Perhaps Westfall will prosper once again. All right, give me the ugly dress. Go with Complete honor, quest. friend. And go with honor, friend put on my hideous dress oh my god it's so ugly this is by far without fail the ugliest dress in the entire game the worst the ugliest i've yet to find another dress as hideous as this one it's ugly colored it's ugly shaped it's just everything about it is wrong but as i've said before it has the best stats in level best in slot for like five fucking levels i'll be like level 18 20 ish before i can even wear anything that's better stats than that. And that is unfair. Unfair. They pretty much just force everyone to wear this rotten thing. And you'll run around on an actual busy server that has people on it. And every single caster will be wearing this ugly dress. It's like the uniform for Westfall. I'm like, yep. Just like a school uniform. It has to be ugly. Unless you're in Japan. Apparently their uniforms are like super cute. Little anime Sailor Moon Girl Scout outfits. I always thought it was just a trope, but my friends who've been there have said, no, that's real. That's what they wear. I'm like, that's so cool. wish my school uniform had been like that. That's it feels bad. Ho yeah, hopefully I'll look hype at 60. Oh, I hope so. I have big plans to be, you know, 60 and sexy. Wearing some level 30 dress because it looks good. <laughs> But that's right, I've still got my beautiful Valentine's dress. I might pull that out of the bank today and wear it for my swim. Because on my list of things to do today is go for a swim in to Booty Bay. I've been told that it's easy enough to do. I've never done it myself. But I've been told enough times that it's easy to do. I'm going to try it today and see if we can get there in one piece. And I thought about it. I'm like, I'll either change into my pretty dress for swimming or maybe I'll just wear a bikini because we're swimming and a bikini is more appropriate. Like bikinis are very exciting, but it does make more sense to swim in bikini over the, you know, elegant dress. Oh, the spell upgrades are really, really working for me. Once again, a pig that has no liver, no snout, they did nothing. They didn't even have any boar meat that I could roast and up my cooking skill. She's just rude. What do I need? I still need one vulture meat, one snout, two... Oh, merlock, guys. Yeah, I might go kill some merlocks. But I'm going to go north. So, I'll show you the map in a minute. But there's a good rule of thumb with Westfall. Uh, same rule of thumb kind of applies to Stranglethorn Vale and a few other places. I think Desolus is another one. But if you look at the map... The further north you are, the lower level the enemies are. So if you're up here, the Merlocks look level 11 to 13, and then they sort of, you know, get to 13, 14, 15, 16, and then by the time you get to the bottom, they're like level 18 or 19 or something ridiculous. Uh, same for the Defias. So the Defias, you know, sort of 
level 10, level 12, level 15, and then like down here is like level 18. So if ever you're here and you're stuck or, you know, especially in like this sort of area, you don't know where to go, just get your level and sort of start at the top and work your way down. Oh, my belt got damaged. That's not good. I need to get that repaired. I'm out of range. We'll visit a repair shop in a minute. But yeah, that's why I try to remember when I'm like, why is everything so hard? I'm like, oh, that's right. I've accidentally travelled too far south. I thought I was being attacked by a bird there, but apparently not. It's just something flapping on my screen distracting me. Is Mr. Bork Bork? Oh, he's there. He's still hanging out. Wish you could talk to him still. I mean, he's happy to scratch out Saldine's name in the sand. Do you reckon he'd do mine? I can train him to spell my name. R O S E. You got this, Mr. Bok Bogok! You can spell! Even if you can't speak. I need to get closer. You need to get closer. No, he needs to get closer. Here, piggy, 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 piggy. Oh, I've got my vulture meat. Okay, so I don't need to worry about vultures anymore. Stop wasting that. I'm loving having a wand. Once again, a liverless pig. Sort of wonder, you know, how does a pig survive without any liver? Murlocs are fucking spooky. They are, they're the worst! Oh my god, I'm always sharing memes about how murlocs are the worst. It's like, you're like, okay, there's one murloc. He's on his own. There's none around. And you, you cast at him from a distance. And then all of a sudden, it's like a hundred appear out of nowhere. And they're like, and they all just come after you. I'm like, oh no. Well, they, how they run away when they're like at 10% health. And then they bring back like 20 of their friends. Which is the worst. Is he not like the piggy? He'll stay till he dies. Like, he's not running anywhere. He'll fight to the death. Lobbing my chicken, just hanging out, just watching. He's like, this is fine. Hey, there we go. This one had a liver. I still need, oh, I need two more livers. It's like the worst drop rate quest in the whole area. Get closer. Spend the rest of my days killing fours in search of that last liver. The legendary liver. Legendary liver of Gortusk. The elusive and legendary. Also, I can make some gross pie that I will never eat. Now, I'll probably eat it. I'll get desperate at some point, I'm sure. Because I never used to do cooking as a um, priest, because I'm like, I'll just self heal. Why would I eat something? But you get good buffs from the food. But they only last 10 minutes, which is annoying. But you know, a buff's a buff. Buff up. Okay, now Mr. Bok Bogok's siding with the Gortusk. Look at him, he's standing like in front of him. He's like, I will defend this Gortusk. But not very well. Because the Gortusk is dead now. Oh yeah, I was going to go visit the dude and... No, I want to get one more bandana before I go back to town. Because I'm so close with that quest. No, I hate, that's one thing I hate doing. It's like you go all the way back. And it's like, oh, I could have handed this in, but I was like one thing short. There it is. All right, let's go back. Maybe we'll kill a pig on the way. One dead one pig, two pig, three pigs, all the dead pigs. Like that time with the cats. That poor cat. <laughs> the crazy cat lady of North Shire and Elwyn Forest. I forget how many she had, but she had one less cat after I'd been around. I don't know, I should feel bad about all the chickens I killed trying to befriend Mr. Bork the Gok, but it was a long journey and I was like, don't eat my chicken! Oh my god, look, he's trying to eat my chicken! Stop it! Stay away from Mr. Bork the Gok! Jerk pig. Your beef is with me! Eh, <laughs> beef. He's a pig, he doesn't have beef. Ooh, a kind of magical animal that has three types of meat. 
bacon, ham, what's the other one? Sorry, I'm in my Simpsons quote mode now and I can't remember what the other one was. Uh, what were we saying? Uh, I swear there has to be a GM that, Simpsons, uh, that spawns a bunch of murlocs every time there's just a player trying to play it safe and put one at a time. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I swear they come out of nowhere. They absolutely come out of nowhere. They just... And you'll see them, like, come running. And, like, they'll literally be running at you. And I'm like, where are you coming from? How are you running? Be careful. <laughs> Have you seen me from so far away? And just, like... Yeah. They hunt you down. Like, I'm coming for you! <laughs> no, please. Okay. Mr. McGregor. Can you fix my shit? Oh, actually, I can make can some, I do you? some cooking while I'm here. Let's sell rubbish, rubbish, rubbish. Things I can't cook. Uh, pants I don't need anymore. Boots I can't wear. Time for bolts I can't use. We'll keep the dress for a little while. And all right, let's cook some. See you around. For me. <laughs> See you. Bye. See you around. Okay. Oh, we can make an egg. Had a baked egg. This is what the problem with the, you know, a roasted boar meat doesn't do anything for you, but it will level up my cooking. So then I can have better stuff with better buffs. It's bursting with flavor. Yes. <laughs> but I'm going to sell it. What are you looking for? No, looking for anything. I want you to buy my roasted boar meat. Maybe. Yes. Okay, sweet. Be careful. I have a master plan now. But, uh, I'll eat that egg in a minute. Because by the time I get to where I'm going, Buffalo will have worn off. Merlocks are scary when they're coming for you while swimming. Right? Like that time I was trying to swim to... Where was I going? West... Uh, South Shore to get the dress. And I was just... Swim along, minding my own business, and they started swimming right at me and killed me. How many times? Three? Three in the water. Like eight on the way up the <laughs> coast. Oh, they're bastards. Nasty bastards. Honestly, I think the mill looks like out of all, everything in the game, they're like the one thing I hate the most. Creepy fish people that they are. Fish people. Fish people sound like fish, run like people. Oh, leave me alone, trapper. You cannot trap me! Oh, she can stab me in the back. Oh, she can trap me. She tied me up. I do not consent! You didn't let me have a safe word or anything. This is not how we do things in my world, thank you very much. I will protect myself. You and your kinky ways. She goes again. And then she runs off. Just rude. You're not even going to stay for cuddles afterwards. <sighs> Thought she was going to make me breakfast. The South Park reference. Yes. <laughs> you will hear many of those here. <laughs> Because I watch a lot of South Park. I was literally watching South Park before I came here. I was like, well, I am eating dinner. Let's watch another South Park episode. It's one I hadn't seen before. Scott Malkinson. He is like biggish. And anyone who hasn't seen South Park, that's what he says. That's not just me having a go at him having diabetes. That's the show. <laughs> uh, wasn't a great episode, but there were some funny moments. The cable guys, um, they're like, oh yeah, we'll rock up between 12 and 5, and then so then the guy goes and gets his hair cut, goes shopping, <laughs> he rocks up at 5.15, they're like, you said you'd be here between 12 and 5, and he's like, yeah, only 15 minutes late, it's quarter past 5, and they're like, no! <laughs> I'm like, oh my god. That's, <laughs> that's how it feels. Right, I should try and get a little bit further north. To get to the easier murlocs for their eyes. Because that's all I need now. I've got my vulture meat, my gortus, my okra. Okra. 
okra. Okay, Ra. You know, I haven't seen in a little while that I need more of. All oats, handful of oats for poor old Blanche. Like, have I just missed them? I mean, I know they look exactly like the grass sometimes, but... This, you know, I'm not seeing any around. I only need two more. More more chickens to be, be friends with Mr. Borkbogok. I really don't want to deal with coyotes. Leave me alone. Oh, good to leave me alone. Uh, I think he's hanging a bit too close to these other defiers. I really don't feel like dealing with them either. Not today! Oh, the gnolls. No, we don't like gnolls. Just keep running, running, running. How north am I? Am I near the top yet? I've got to be. Yes, alright. I'm near the top. So this is where I came when we did our Murloc murder event in my guild the other week. This is the area I was spamming for Murlocs. With my level 60, just... Um... Casting Holy Nova. Boof, boof, boof. Watching them all die around me. It was amazing. I was like, this is for all those times you killed me when I was younger. And lower. Alright. Time to take on some metal that objects. Spell isn't ready yet. That spell isn't ready yet. <sighs> this guy's going to go down quick. Hopefully we can get him before he calls all his friends. You're going the wrong way. Ooh, journeyman pants. Are they better than what I've got? 17 armor, 1 spirit. 24 armor, 2... No. What I've got is way better. Damn. Oh, well. He didn't even give me an eyeball. You would have thought he'd have two eyes. But I guess he was... Eyeless? Or maybe when I mind blasted him, his eyes just exploded. Would have been cool to see. Nice and gruesome. No, this isn't that kind of game. Ooh, a small barnacled clam. Let's right click the clam to see what's in it. And it's clam meat. I was hoping for a pearl. I never get a pearl. Cause you use pearls to make pretty things later, like a pearl clasp cloak or boots or something. Ugh. Please die already. Hey, there's one eye. One of three. More clear meat. Sometimes there's treasure around you. Is there treasure here today? Mm, no. Well, that's very disappointing. I was hoping for treasure. Look at this! This is what I'm talking about! The hell did he come from? And he came running all the way just to kill me. Came running from literally nowhere. He was nowhere near. There's no way he was within aggro range. And now I'm out of mana. Let's not me to click on that. Oh, what's he done to me? Poisonous stab. He stabbed me with poison. Okay, let's try and get a bit of healing happening before I die. Mm, a nice little pile of murloc corpses. Oh, I feel normal. I hate feeling normal. Don't you guys hate feeling normal? Yeah, legit. Man came out of nowhere. At least that guy had an eyeball. One more. Uh, among the looks unpopular. That's right. Could be the most popular human. No, apparently one of my friends is equally as popular. She's telling me she can't go anywhere without them. And I'm like, well, now I feel less special. Because I'm not the only one. They do that to everyone. They like that... I don't know, they're just like ganging up on people. I can't Such bullies. I mean, I mean, technically I'm the one who started it and I'm killing them, but... I don't ha have a group of me doing this. It's just little old me and all I want is their eyeballs. See, again, sometimes I question motivation. Like, who's really the bad guy? Definitely the metal looks though, 100%. Because they suck. Fish people, fish people. Ooh, a captain's treasure map. 
put it. Let's have a look. If you be reading this, it means old Captain Sa Sanders is in a watery grave. Aww. My treasure is yours now. You just need to follow the clues. Ye. Ye jest. Where is he going? He's going to come at me in a minute, I bet. Uh, first, I need to find the footlocker. Probably half buried in the sand by now. Along the western coast of Westfall, near the shipwreck. There's like five shipwrecks. Oh, there's lots of shipwrecks. Uh, but only one rusty anchor on the coast. Find the anchor and you'll find the locker in there for the next clue. Okay. Let's definitely 100% do that because that sounds like fun. And there's my third eye. So let's... No! Uh, I'm done with you! Leave me alone! Leave Rosie alone! Leave her alone! Go away. Ah, you went away. Good. Alright, so let's swim along the coast and see if we can't find a rusty anchor. Because there is a lot of shipwrecks. And I tell you, I don't think I've ever found the captain's treasure. I've picked up this quest a few times, but I don't think I've ever finished it. So that will be my mission today. My new mission, should I choose to accept it, which I did, will be to find pirate's treasure. But that's a big thing for me, finding treasure. All about finding treasure. Oh, my chicken's swimming! He's a good little swimmer. What are we doing, Philip? hunting for treasure mm. oh that's good vodka I'm having musk vodka today it's delicious it's all pink and sparkly too it's so me I seem to have found my safe aggro range which is good I don't want to get too close what level are they at here? Let's have a look. See, we're up to 13 now. The other guys were 11. So we're reaching another shipwreck. Up ahead. Let's see if this one's got a rusty old anchor buried in the sand. Oh, the love hearts. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> Thank you for the love hearts. Thank you for the love. You're so sweet. Such a sweetie. I miss you, buddy. Hyundai, I'll come and visit. One day. Apparently they're restru removing some of the lock, um, shutdown lockdowns. Should be good. What is this? S Sluck? Sluck? Oh, he's a rare. But he's running fast. Somehow, I don't think I'll be able to catch him. I don't even know where he's gone. He's like full disappeared. But he was on a mission. He was definitely going somewhere. Yeah, there he goes again. He's only level 15, and I'm almost level 15. One, two, three, four, five and a half bars away. Could totally, totally get to 15 and be on par with him. And rares aren't like elites. They're not, you know, twice as hard to kill as a normal at level. Uh-oh. I think I'm within aggro range again. But there's a shipwreck in my road. It's normally the distance away that I am is where that shipwreck is. Oh, nope, that's psychic scream. Please leave me alone. Oh no! No, 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 no. This is not good. This is not good at all. Can't even bubble again. There we go. Now I can bubble again. Oh, that was close. I do not have a lot of life left. Still haven't seen a rusted anchor yet. There's Slark again. Oh my god, he's really in a rush. Maybe he's got to return a library book before he gets a fine. Well, you know, that people don't do that anymore, do they? It's an old people thing. <laughs> Returning books, maybe. That's because maybe has to turn a DVD to video easy. A blockbuster. <laughs> that is definitely not a thing. Oh, that guy's level 17. That is not good. Rosie, gonna, Rosie wonder why? Rosie gonna die. No, I don't wonder. I know. 
I get myself into this mess. It devours you from below. <laughs> he nasty. He nasty. Mm. Like, have I missed? Is it like super buried and doesn't look like a anchor? Oh, the moon. Everybody look at the moon. It's a bright full moon. Pretty cool. Like, if you watch it long enough, it does actually move. Oh, it moved! It full does like a full rotation, as does the sun. So you get like a nice spot, you can stand there and watch the sunrise. There's a good spot in Ironforge, I think. But there's also a few good spots by the beach, by the water. You can sort of sit there and watch the sunrise if you feel like wasting some time in game without leveling. Like I do. Like I'm doing right now. Enjoying the beach and the monster carcass. <laughs> Mmm, monster carcass. Yay! At least there's no... Oh, there's vultures. Of course there's vultures. It's, it's, yeah. Monster carcass. Of course there's vultures. Alright. Uh, still haven't seen an an rusty anchor yet. There is... So, uh, no, that's just plants. That might have been something. How many shipwrecks have we passed? got to be like at least five. Uh, four or five? I've not been counting. Oh! Captain's Foot Locker! And it's surrounded by high level murlocs. Maybe I can take them on one at a time. That must be the rusted anchor, is it? Jeez, it doesn't look like much, does it? Yeesh. I like how it's like, oh! You don't need to be level 10 to pick up this quest, but you have to be level 15 to finish it. I'm like, mm -mm. It's not very nice. Where even is it again? I've lost it. Okay, there. One, two, three of them. <sighs> and I bet by the time I kill, like, one, another three will have respawned. Level 16, okay. I'll probably take out a 16. As long as he doesn't summon too many friends. But he's a hunter, so it's like killing two at once. Yeah, man. Uh, he's tough. And I am not tougher. <laughs> nope. Maybe we'll save the captain's treasure for another day. But let's make a mental note. Or a physical note. Maybe I'll take a photo of the map. And So it's just outside Gold Coast. Oh, okay, so it's in line with the words Gold Coast Quarry. I'll remember that. No, I won't. But I'll try. It's a nice night to fly a kite. <laughs> oh, it is a nice night to fly a kite. Where are we going to get enough squirrels to make a kite? <laughs> yep. But hey, first death of the night. So that's not bad. How long did I make it? Nearly an hour. 50 minutes? That's not bad. One death. Right? Right? <laughs> Oh, I got my ugly dress. You so ugly. It did not help me when the murlocs were trying to kill me. Maybe I would have died quicker. Were it not for my ugly dress. Oh. Well, it's been a bit weird lately. It's sort of like been really nice and lovely and warm and then it'll be randomly cold. But the worst is when it's cold in the morning and then hot in the afternoon. So, you know, rug up, get on my cardigan and jackets and everything and lug it all into work. And then I have to, you know, I'm walking back and it's all hot. I have to carry it all. And they're great. And I'm carrying all these cardigans and scarves and jackets and things. It might kind of just be like a similar temperature after as it was before. Alright, new mission. We go around. Back to the safety of the ocean. The deeper ocean. Well, 
some safety. Um, oh, look, it's on the map. Was it on the map this whole time and I just didn't notice it? That's typical. Typical Rose. This is obvious thing. <sighs> Whoops. Oh well. I will come back and get the captain's treasure when I am high level and I will smash them all. But for now, I'm going to visit the captain. Yeah, that's right. I know where he is. And I'm going to visit him. I'm going to head back to Westfall and... Where is my hearthstone? Ooh, it's at Westfall. That's handy. I like that. I like it a lot. What have I got? Some boar meat. Still need more frickin' gore tusk livers. Alright, I'll try and get more of them before I go to hand in Westfall stew. Because I want to hand them both in at the same time. I don't want to have to go there and go back. Go there and go back. Just want to be done with the Saldine farm. What is this guy that's like up there by himself? Oracle. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He the Oracle, damn it. Well. I don't want anything to do with him. And his friend. Guarding that. Is it copper ore? Looks like copper ore. Oh, I've got to be close. There's the lighthouse. I can see in the distance. This was on my mission today. Just to see. Visit the lighthouse. Let's say hi to the captain. Oh, captain, my captain. I can stop tracking that quest, actually, because that's complete. I don't want that on there anymore. Taking up space. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I can track the people's militia. What else? Forgotten heirloom. Captain Sanders. Treasure. Hmm. I bet there's not even anything that exciting in the treasure, but I don't care. Like, I'll get a treasure chest that has, like, literally one apple in it, and I'll still be excited because I'm like, treasure! <gasps> Just what I always wanted! More booty! Har har fiddle dee dee. Being a pirate is alright with me. I've got this song stuck in my head. Uh, uh, pirate. You are a pirate. <laughs> One day I'll dress up as a pirate. Uh, probably Halloween. It's funny because you can... At Halloween you get these magic wands that you cast people and they turn into like a pirate or a ghost or skeleton or, you know, different costumes and things. But you can't cast it on yourself. So you have to, you know, if you want it, you have to ask someone else to cast it on you. But if you talk to... If you trick or treat... With the um, innkeepers, sometimes they will. Oh, this guy is a jerk. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. That spell is um, yeah, if they'll give you a treat, which is like candy. Oh my god, go away! Oh, that didn't work. Shit. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> uh, I don't even have desperate prayer or any health potions. I'm gonna die again! Uh, no, I'm dead. I don't know why she acted like she was drowning. She wasn't drowning, she was getting stabbed. You are a pirate. But yeah, so sometimes the innkeepers will turn you into a pirate. Although, I feel like none of my characters ever get turned into pirates. I always get turned into all sorts of other things. Usually skeletons. One time I got turned into this miniature demon. And it was so funny and so cute. And, like, running around. The little legs were going so fast. Because it was so small. <laughs> like, this is great. Took a video of it way back in the day. It was a really dodgy video. Because um, on my phone, like, just holding it up to the screen. I'm, like, running around at the same time. It's wobbling all over the place. But I was like, oh my god. Look at this little demon me. Oh, hi, demon me. <laughs> what you doing? How am I going for time? An hour. Yeah, I've still got time to run to, to swim to Booty Bay. Might swim to Booty Bay after we visit the Allied House. Because I can always hearthstone back and hand in that quest. Still got a way to go, though. I hate not being rested. That's the problem with doing a weekend stream, is it killed all my rested XP. 
which is just annoying. <laughs> I don't like not being rested. Uh, I don't have a lot of um, I don't have any fun raid stories today because I haven't run any raids in a little while I really want to run Molten Core again on, but I want to run it I've only run it once and that was the funnest dungeon that I've run so uh, raid that I've done I reckon but I want to do it again as the um, priest holy priest and get that eye of whatever it is so that I can combine it with the eye of shadow and get me that Anamathea um, benediction staff because that thing looks hella cool I think it's best in slot for healers and shadow priests at 60 until Burning Crusades comes out it's Burning Crusades comes out and then of course you know there's all these upgrades everywhere for everybody you get an upgrade! You get an upgrade! Everybody gets an upgrade! You got... Turned toad. <laughs> no, don't get turned into a toad! That's so rude of them! Wish I could turn the murlocs into toads. Be like, ha Now you're your miniature cousin! Oh, it's Captain Grayson. This is the different pirate captain. Isn't it? What's the other guy's name? Hang on. Let's have a look. Where's my treasure map? Uh. It's gone! Well then. I was not expecting that. <laughs> Thought you hung on to it. Mm. Nope. I'm gonna have a look. Captain Sander. Captain Grayson. Okay, so you're definitely different. Uh, Keeper of the Flame. Actually, let's read the thing again. Let's be good. Do not be alarmed, human. I have long since passed from this land, but I intend no harm to your kind. Aw, that's nice. He's a nice ghost. I have witnessed too much death in my time. My only wish now is for peace. Perhaps you can help my cause. Okay, Keeper of the Flame. The night the lighthouse keeper's family died was horrible. I watched helpless as old Murloc I, Murk I, bloody Murlocs, Murk I, led the attack. But what's done is done. Now my concern is for the lives of the sailors on the great sea whose ships come close to the perilous rocks of the coastline. With no one to keep watch on the flame, the responsibility has fallen upon me. Help me keep the torch lit by bringing five flasks of oil from the harvest monsters. Okay. Ooh, he's going to give me health and mana potions. Okay, let's accept that. Uh, and look, I already got ready because I have my flask of oil. The flame will not burn for long without oil. Yes, I know. Look, I came prepared. What do you know? Choose my rod. I want mana potion. I know a normal person would be like, here's a health potion. But I'm like, no, mana, because then I can heal myself. Take mana and heal myself. Ooh, I'm going to get intellect and stamina. That's pretty cute. That's cute, cute. All right, you probably noticed all the shipwrecks on the coast. Yes, I did. I was looking for that treasure on them. The Great Sea is treacherous indeed. Coast of Westfall needs to be kept clear so that sailors find their way to our beaches. They're safe. The Millocks are trouble, though. Yo, you're telling me. Seven tide kills, seven tide hunters, seven warriors, seven oracles, and seven coast runners. And I'll see that you're rewarded. Ooh, with 11 silver. Let's accept that. Although I won't be able to do that for a long time because, as you saw, some of them are level 19. Ain't no way that I can do that. Let's have a look at the lighthouse, eh? It's pretty tall. Can I go in it? Mm. No. The door is shut. This is not one of those games where you can like just open a random door. Um, it would have like a little wheel on it that you yeah, click on if it did. This looks like a good fishing spot, but I don't have a fishing pole yet because I haven't had a lot of money to spend on fishing. But we're going to swim to Booty Bay. Look, I can see the tropical islands. Maybe it's not that far. I feel like it is far though. I feel like it's very, very far and this is going to be a very long, long, long swim uh, but it's going to be harder to swim in this hideous potato sack of a dress let's take it off, let's go swimming in what do we got and gloves can come off wrist braces swim in the pants, my pants definitely don't want to be swimming in boots yes they're kind of like swim shorts that's okay 
What do the other pants look like? Raggedy. Raggedy Andy pants. That looks a bit more comfortable for swimming, if I'm being honest. Look like a proper shipwreck person. Help, I'm stranded from my shipwreck. I've been shipwrecked. No, I haven't. I've just been exploring shipwrecks. There's not much going on underwater here. We can have a look, but it's already dull, but not for long. Once we get to Booty Bay, heh, Booty Bay, <laughs> not quite Booty Bay. By the time we get there, we'll have passed some cool coral reefs, and we're going to explore them along the way, do some snorkeling at the coral reef. Why? Because I want to, because I like to, because I like to look at the pretty coral. Who knows, maybe we'll even find a pearl. Go pearl diving. Probably definitely die. Probably definitely. Probably definitely die. Going to... Going near the pearls. But that's okay. We can always try. Oh, what is this? This looks like some ancient... Okay, Strangled Unveil, Contested Territory. Interesting. These... This looks like a dangerous place. Hmm. Hmm. I think I was here the other day, handing in something for from a from the ZG raid to get some rep for this tribe. Yo Jamba, Yo Jamba tribe. Wonder if they're friendly to me as a lobby nobody. They're not red. Maybe they will be friendly. How do we say that? Vinchaza? Vinchaxa? Hey there. Hey there. Behind me is the altar of Zanza. Zanza? A sacred place for us, Zandala. <laughs> we pray you to bolster our resolve in preparation for the war against the blood god, Hakar. Prove yourself to the tribe by using the altar to destroy any of the Hakari... I don't know how to say that, but Joyce? Be be I'm not even going to try. Uh, you might find inside Zul Garub. Also, we'll trade your honor tokens. Um, our tribe uses the sets of coins you may find in Zul Garub. Bring me the coins that I seek and you'll be rewarded. Well, I have a feeling that requires level 60 you and I'm about yeah. 46 levels away from that. So. Not today! Not today. But I like how he did the whole, like, told me the whole quest and what we needed, even though clearly I'm not going to be of any help. Maybe they just don't expect you to come here at this low level. This is what I'm talking about. Look at this. Pretty coral reef going on down here. It's pretty cool. I want to be careful though, because I will accidentally drown when I get distracted by all this. I don't know what's going on over there. Some bones or something? Rocks? There's a bit of a temple that's underwater. I was going to say Sunken Temple. No. Sunken Temple's in um, Swamp of Sorrows. I was there the other day. I did go to Sunken Temple in the end the other day. It was a really quick run, actually. But we had a few 60s. Oh, look! Flying Contraption! Actually, that's something I should try one time. <laughs> one of my guildies got on one of them as Alliance and rode it all the way to... Um, is it Orgrim where it goes to? Oh, wherever it goes. I haven't played Horde in so long. But yeah, they rode it as like this like little level 11 thing. Just like hung, you know, stuck on the outside of it. And rode it all the way to the Horde territory. <laughs> They're just kind of like hanging out there. I'm like, how are you not like dead times a thousand? <laughs> So maybe that can be our mission. I'll try and hit them up this week and find out how they did it and what they did. And maybe I'll make that my mission next time. That'll be fun. Explore the enemy territory before I join the enemy. Because when Burning Crusades comes out, you can bet you I'll be making a Blood Elf. Maybe I'll stream some Blood Elf content. I don't know. I could do like a dual series side by side. 
Rosetta on one side and I don't know, some Blood Elf character on the other. Maybe the Blood Elf can be on Wednesdays or Thursdays or something. We'll see. We'll see. Now that I'm affiliate, I feel like I have a responsibility to expand my content. I don't know, I can just keep doing the same content that I've been doing. Because I enjoy it. I am loving this, like, the graphics on the water. Like, it's so, I'm, it was not this good when I used to play Classic back in the day. But, proper vanilla. But it could have, I don't know, and I genuinely don't know if it was just I had the settings down because my computer was garbage. Or if because it didn't actually have the water this nice back then. So anybody knows, tell me. Because if I could have been playing like this this whole time, ugh. But like I said, my computer back then was absolute garbage. <laughs> Elite. Let's stay away from that. Whereas this computer is like a proper gaming computer. I was talking to someone about it yesterday and they're like, oh, so you have like a proper gaming computer. I'm like, yes, I do. I gave my friend money and said, build me a proper gaming computer. Oh, so this fatigue business, it's because I'm above this super deep water. Like if you're in like, if you go out too deep, you can get fatigued and die. Like even if you're not drowning, you just get fatigued from being in open water. But if you go over like this trench, sometimes you get fatigued as well. I'm like, but it's a trench. I can just move sideways. Hey, look. There's a giant clamp. Let's go. Let's open it. But first, let's have a quick breath. <sighs> okay, deep dive. I like that you can see my little shadow there. Like, how cool is that tiny little shadow? Okay, enough about that, because we'll drown. Let's open this giant clam and see what's in it. Some giant clam meat, hey? What? Where? Where? What? <laughs> I, there is no Murloc anywhere in sight. How did he kill me? Where did he <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. This is why I hate Merlock. Fucking dirty bastards hide in a side of rock and then stab you while they're inside the rock and you can't see them. Because what the fuck was that? He... he d <sighs> I couldn't even see him. Even after I died, I couldn't see him. I couldn't see him while he was stabbing me. Sorry for yelling. I'm very sorry. But I got a little upset. Because that clam looked perfectly safe. It was an invisible murloc. And he was a... That guy is a jerk! That's right. I do like this running on water with the bare feet. Like, I feel like this is proper beach attire. Like, yeah, I'm in the tropical jungle and I'm running around barefoot. Running on water. Oh, actually, I think it's probably quicker if I go this way. There's a big giant mountain up there. And we're going around the long way. Go around the long way. I'm going the wrong way. I'm always going the wrong way. That's the point of the open world game, is you can always go the wrong way. I mean, I like platform games sometimes, you know, they force you to go a particular way, but I really love that you just go anywhere. Like, yeah, you'll die, but you can. You know, you're not surrounded by three invisible walls at all time. You can sort of check things out. Like, I could go in there and explore. I mean, yes. Again, I die, but I, but I can't. I have the choice of dying. I should be given the freedom, you know, to choose to die. Shouldn't I? It's only a game. Hmm. Well, I saw this game the other day. Um, there's a little. Uh, were they like a Java game? Like tiny little thing. I didn't play it. I just saw it. So 
my husband was watching a YouTube of it or something. And there's this guy, and he's just trying to go to the toilet. And that's the whole game, is you have to get him on the toilet before he craps his pants. And I was like, what? <laughs> what is this? But, um, you know, that's the thing, I guess. That was the point I was trying to make, is there's different games for different people and different play styles. So, you know, if you want to explore the open world and go snorkeling, you can play World of Warcraft. Or... If you want to get to the toilet before you crap your pants, you can play whatever game that was. All right, I'm going to just have a quick look around because I cannot see a murloc anywhere. This, I like how she's from sideways. Look. It's pretty cool. Um, nope, I'm not seeing any. There's one. But he should be far enough away that he shouldn't, he shouldn't aggro from here. So it wasn't down that deep, was it? I don't even know where that... There's clams all the way up here. Yeah, no, he shouldn't have aggroed from there. That's way too far. It must have been closer. Is it like in here somewhere? No? Seriously? Where? Now this guy's going to get it. How come he's not getting attacked by a murloc? See? Where did he come from? <sighs> Holy spirit. Well, I can just ignore the other guy. It's like, no, I don't care about the other guy. I'm only going to kill you. Uh, I didn't even get the clam or the pearls. What a waste. Alright, that's okay. I'll give up. That's enough snorkeling. We'll finish this room. How far down are we? How far have we got to go? Uh, I didn't go very far. <laughs> I'm trying to get to here. Uh, yeah. Here. <laughs> Yeesh. It's gonna be a long, long night. Hmm. Uh. That's right. Check the combat log. Good idea. Thank you. Um. No. Rosetta gains twenty health from Renew. Rosetta gains twenty health from Renew. That's what it says. It's from... Oh, that's my actions. I want what happened to me. Okay. Thank you, Jamming. This is, you know this game so much better than I do. You would never guess that you only started playing it a few months before I did. <laughs> or that I've technically put more hours in. Ugh. So it's, Maybe I shouldn't admit how many hours I've put into this game and still don't. Um, salt scale, forager, melee, swing, hits Rosetta for 108. Physical crushing... 28 overall. Should have been two hits. Because I have 267 life. Oh, the first one was two hits. The second one was one hit. One hit wonder and I died. Alright. Let's stay <laughs> stay airside this time. Because I think if I swim along the top, I should be safe. Unless that um, enemy player decides to come and kill me, which he might. He might be like, bitch, I saw your stream, you a dumbass. And you're gonna deserve to die because you a dumbass. And I'll be like, you know what? That is fair. Um... <laughs> they wouldn't blame him. You know, why they have PvP realms, and so you can actually do that. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna be a dumbass. Because I see one here, and I, again, I'm not seeing any malocs or anything. Let's see. Giant clam. Can I open it? What's she doing with the hands? Like this. <laughs> Ooh, it's blue pearl. Giant clam, mate. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's get up before I drown. There's all sorts of random things here. 
It's like a purple seashell. That looks interesting. Let's have a look at that. Oh, I love this. You can see the reflection of the blimp on the water. It's pretty cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, a shipwreck! What's it got? Things you can't click on. Fishies. More fishies. Is it, what is that meant to be? It's like an interesting looking thing. Here it's dangerous. It doesn't look like it. I mean, it looks like it should be. It looks like something from like Legend of Zelda. It looks like going to eat me, but it's not. It hasn't eaten me so far. Anything down here I can click on? No, but let's let's have a quick breath before we go back under. There's a lot of barnacles on that boat. And no breathing. Let's go have a look. Anything interesting? Hmm. I feel like if anywhere the anywhere there was gonna be a treasure chest, it should be somewhere here. But alas. No treasure. Boxes that we can't click on. Nope, nothing exciting. Just a boat. But I, why can't I swim through that hole? Oh, rude. There we go. It's like it's kind of like a little mermaid when she gets like stuck in the shipwreck. She gets her butt stuck. Trying to swim away from the shark. Poor little flounder. So scared. Trying to pull him through and he doesn't fix. He's got a fat head. But yeah, so this is the coral reef. Vile reef. It's not very vile. I think it's quite nice. Very pretty. Uh, da -da -da -da. Uh. Ah, cool. Oh, I just, I really think it's pretty, like the moonlight reflecting off the water. You can even see the stars reflecting off the water. It's pretty cool. Anyway. Let's keep swimming, just keep swimming. Just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. And... Get to Booty Bay. Stay a little bit further away from the shoreline. I think this is where the dinosaurs are or something. Something dangerous that will definitely kill me. Hmm. Discovered Savage Coast. <laughs> um. Am I getting much XP? We have three and a half bars to go. Maybe I can get enough XP to... See, I'm not opening up the map. It says I'm discovering places, but it's not showing up on the map. I probably need to get closer to land, but I'm a bit worried that if I get closer to land, it will mean certain death. But I don't see any enemies. I don't see any monsters or anything. I should be able to see them by now. Surely I'm close enough. Oh, there they are. That's how close I need to be to see them. <laughs> So I was going to do this whole big spiel. About this, you know, my thoughts on the psychology of the characters that I play. But I don't think I'm drunk enough for that. Maybe next time. So now I have nothing else to talk about because that was my big plan. Was I was going to talk about all this. When I played as this, when I was this, and then I played as that. But I mean, everybody's different. People play for different reasons. And they play different classes and things for different reasons, you know. And for most people, it's just, ah, this is what I enjoy, you know. And some people stick with the same thing forever. And some people, like me, mix it up. And some people um, do a bit of both. I know I tend to stick with one for a while. And then I'll jump around a bit and then stick with one for a while. Ooh. 
What is this? It's another monster corpse. I'm gonna stay a little bit further away from the dinosaur. Is he already reckoning his Loch Ness or something? This is it's not as big as the other other corpse we found on the sea sea, sea seaside shoreline. Okay, I'm seeing that rupture's getting a bit close. Discovered blood sail compound. Does that mean my map opened up a little bit now? Yes. Yes. Very good. I'm still going to stay a little bit um, out. But see, there's not much here now. I'm away from the coral reef and it's just dead sand. Boring, boring, boring. Yeah, I was a bit disorganised this week. Sort of had a little bit of a plan. But work ended up being so busy last week and this week. And normally what I do is I'll, on my lunch break is I'll start, you know, making notes during the day and think about things or during the week I'll play a little bit and I'll, you know, funny things will happen and they'll be like, oh, that inspired me to talk about this or to tell this story. But I hardly play this week. Aside from... Um, the stream, that was the most I got to play all weekend because it was just so busy. Uh, hopefully next weekend it'll be a bit quieter. Next weekend, I've got Monday off work, so I actually get heaps of stuff done. I'm really hoping that I can get into an MC raid. Maybe there'll be one on the Monday and I can get in. It'll, well, it'll be if someone's hosting one on a Sunday, but most, most um, raiding groups on this server seem to do MC on either like a Wednesday or Thursday, I think. So that's, um, not, doesn't work for me because I'm at work, <laughs> you know, I'll be at work and it'll be like four o'clock and I'll be like, all right, I'm going to go home in an hour. I'll be online an hour and a half and I'll look and they'll be like, yep, we're raiding right now. And I'm like, oh, by the time I get there, they'll be almost done. So I never get to join. I always miss out. And on the weekends, it's always AQ, 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 or Nax, Nax, AQ. And you, know, you can't get into Nax unless you're, like, in with the cool kids. And by that I mean, you know, super elite and you've got all your PvP gear or all your top tier raiding gear, which I do not have. I don't even have, like, bottom tier raiding gear. I have a tiny bit of dungeon gear and a lot of garbage drops. <laughs> Um, hmm. I forget what I was saying. Yeah, so um, I'm, I don't think I'm ready for AQ. I don't know. I've never never done AQ and I've never done Nax. I don't. I know I wouldn't get into Nax. They'd just take one look at me and be like, no. Um, I think AQ is a little bit similar, but they're not quite as elitist because they're usually a bit more desperate for people. So they'll take people. So usually on the weekends, I tend to get into... Ubers or Elbers or ZG. Uh, I've had a couple of offers to get in to ZGs on the weekend. <laughs> uh, my friend's asking if I know any tanks. One piece. Only deaths came from when I went rogue and tried to collect pearls. That's pretty cool. So yes, it can be done without dying if you don't go deep, deep diving for pearls. Deep pearl diving. You absolutely can make it from Westfall to Beauty Bay in one piece, and it didn't take that long actually. Especially given how much I stuffed around and admired the uh, beautiful coral reef. I do like this like town over the water, the little huts over the water. It reminds me of those places in like Tahiti where those the huts are over the water and you know these people step out of their balcony. 
onto the water and they're like, here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Whoa, that is a big fish. The fish is huge. My goodness. I didn't realize the fish was so big here. Let's go swim with the fishes. Huh. Look at that. It's bigger than I am. They don't look that big. Like when you see them, they look like these tiny little fish and then you get close and they're huge. Little massive dories. Alright, so we're here. Let's see what cool things there are to explore in Booty Bay. Okay. Let's go up the ramps. Uh, need to be closer. Yeah, I don't think he's got anything for me. Mm, interesting. Hey, yeah. Oh, the sound's down. Yo. Yo. I think because I turned it Time down. Time is money, friend. For whatever reason. Yeah, what do you want? It's annoying me. Alright. Yo. This, this is pretty cool. Um, so, Booty Bay and I think Ratchet and... Tenaris, I think, are the three. There might be another one, but I know those are the three. They have what is known as a neutral auction house. So you've got the Alliance auction house in Stormwind and Ironforge and Dunassus, and everything's on sale there. And you can, if you put something on in Stormwind, somebody in Dunassus can buy it. Uh, they're all linked. But all the um, neutral ones are linked as well, but not to the aligned ones. So if I put something on here, on the auction house, somebody in a horde... Gadgets 10, thank you. Gadgets... Gadgets Sand. Gadgets Sand. So somebody, you know, a horde player in Gadgets Sand could then buy it. Which I think is really cool. So, there's... Because there's some items that you can't really pick up in the horde land or... Alliance land. So I like the idea of being able to buy cross board. Now there's usually, the other thing is there's usually not a lot on here. So I don't usually tend to put anything in. I just sort of search and see what's there. So <laughs> it just goes to show how dead this server is. On the entire, all three, <laughs> across all three neutral auction houses, there is exactly three things for sale. <laughs> Two pages of Stranglethorn and uh, Enchanting Pattern. Look for two gold. I don't have two gold. Normally, there's pages and pages of stuff. Like just pages and pages. Like, you know, you're clicking through. So, it just goes to show how dead this server is. There's literally nothing for sale. <laughs> well, literally, there's three things Yo. for sale. The banker. So, here I can access all my stuff from my own bank. Even though this is like a neutral auction house, the bank is still linked to your, you know, your specific account. So, it's pretty handy. Um... If you're far away. So let's put the pearl in the bank. Let's pick up my pretty dress. Or should I wear pink today? Let's put that in the bank. Uh, pants. Oh, so. <laughs> Glad I could help. <laughs> Glad he could help. So here's my pretty dress. Does not look nice with that belt. Let's take the belt off. Also, not a huge fan of the pants showing. Actually, let's put them in here so we know that that's my whole outfit to put back on later. See, it's all about organising things. So yes, I'm going to run around Booty Bay in my pretty blue dress. Actually, I'll probably put my shoes back on. Who knows what these pirates are going to get up to. Mind. Hey, he's from you that other place. Get the Sandala, come get the voodoo. The little trolls have travelled here from distant lands. Wasn't that distant? Swam it in a day. Spirits, be with your mind. All right, let's go check out the pub. What's going on? Lots Time of is money, talk to me. goblins. Hey, yeah. They're goblins. Hmm. Yo. Be good. Pretty expensive. So that's the other thing. Depending on your reputation, things cost different amounts of money. So, the worse your reputation is, the more expensive things are, and the better your reputation is the cheaper it is. Um, there's a guy down here who sells a pattern for something. I want to see how much it was. Probably can't afford it because I'm Pope, but that's okay. We can still have a look. Where I is supply he? Only the Yo, this guy. Food. Pirate supplies! Hey, look, there it is. And I cannot afford it because I only have 13 silver, but he sells a black swashbuckler shirt. So when I'm level tailoring 200 I'll come back here and buy it 
See, it's got the little one in brackets. That means it's only got one in stock. And if I buy that, not that I can, but if I were to buy that, that would be it. And be sold out. And he would take a little while to restock. Different vendors take different amounts of time to restock. So, so it could be like 15 minutes, could be an hour, it could be a day, depending. I don't know what his refresh rate is. Whereas, see, the parrot, which I can't afford, you could just keep buying, 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 buying 100 and it wouldn't matter. He's got plenty in stock. But he's only got one of the shirt. And when I wanted this one last time, I had to come back here so many times. And I think it ended up being at like 3 in the morning server time that I was able to get it. Because every other time I came, he was sold out. So let's sell him some stuff. Clear out some trash. Um, I should cook that. Alright, so I don't need any more oil because I handed in that quest. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh yeah, I needed the hops for another quest Hooray. later. Oh, I should sell... Greetings. Oh, he could fix my stuff. Ugh, now I'm poor again. Uh, I'm going to sell the tusk. Giant clam meat, because I'm not going to be able to use that for a long time. I should be able to cook that clam meat soon. I don't know what level I have to be to, uh, cooking to cook it, but hopefully soon. For the alliance. Yes, then I've got four of them. Uh, I don't think there's a fireplace in here. Alright, let's let's hearthstone back. Hand in that quest, cook up some meat. My pretty dress. Love this dress. I'm so glad I got it. It was worth however many hours in death. <laughs> Forgot about this. <laughs> Best spawn point ever. If you weren't here last time, that's right. I have the best spawn points. Oh, we have fun. Well, I have fun. And you guys watch me have fun, which is no. Well, I hope you have fun watching me have fun. If not, well, I, I got nothing. <laughs> I mean, it's very sexy, this backlessness, but I just like the detail. All the little, you know, stripes and stuff. Very flattering. Because I don't want to ask cooking. I feel like this isn't a cooking dress. I don't want to burn it. Let's let's put on the pretty pink dress. More appropriate for cooking, hey? No! I burned my pretty dress! <gasps> it's singed! Alright, this is where you need to wear the ugly dress. I think you stand on top of the fire and cook. So I don't care if this dress gets burnt. Burn it. It's hideous. Good day Again, this dress is looking kind of purpley in this light. Which is strange. Uh, ribs. I don't know I can cook ribs later, but... It's not for a while. See you around. Alright. Yeah, it's because it's night time and the light's still got that blue hue to everything. So my pink dress looks purple. Alright, if we're going to fight stuff, we better wear all the ugly gear. Them's fighting gears. I'm carrying my pretty dress. I love this. It's got like a little dragon on it. I don't know if you guys can see that. The detail. Okay. We're going to try and get two, two more livers before we head back to Saudine. And honestly, by the time we get the livers, it'll probably been two hours since I started. I said you wasted an hour of swimming. Yes, I did. <laughs> and I have no regrets. Even though I could have had an extra, what, five silver from not having to do all those repairs. But then I wouldn't have got to explore. Once again, liverless boar. We can try and avoid the vultures because I'm not interested in them anymore. But like the murlocs, they like to attack you no matter what you do. And I did say I would try and level up. And two and a half bars seems doable. I just realised Mr. Borkbogok's not here. Let's bring him back. He goes home when I die. He doesn't like to hang around and see my corpse. Let's also, let's eat a, eat some egg. 
and see if we can get some of that special buff. There it is. Well fed. Stamina and spirit increased by two. Oh, here he is. <sighs> Why, yes, Birdie. I really wanted to kill you for no reason. So not interested in this. Look at my boar meat that I can cook. I can cook that at Saldane's farm, actually. I got some herbs still. Oh yeah, one more spice that I can use to cook my last egg. Don't go away! Leave me alone. That was weird. He sort of kind of right, ran around me and then ran off. <laughs> okay, bye! I know I complain a lot about, you know, sort of just like hanging out in the boring area and the doing the same sort of quest over and over again. But, oh, I was going to put this on my action bar so that I can access it quickly. Let, let's do some buffs. Some of these scrolls. More powerful spell is already active. Well, that's useless then, isn't it? Let's have a chocolate as well. Chocolate buff. Um... Let's go defense. Om nom 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 nom. Sweet. But I really, yeah, anyway, I really enjoy these sort of teen levels. 14, 15, 16, 18. And um, I usually have a lot of fun in Red Ridge as well. Again, there's Murlocs there and it's kind of hard to avoid them, but... There's so much drama in Red Ridge and people, you know. Two time in Parker. <laughs> uh, and the pig, there's a pig there that you have to um I always forget his name. Anyway, there's a pig. You have to kill there. And he's way tougher to kill than Princess. Although he doesn't have an entourage. I mean, technically he does, but the entourage does come after you. Still no livers. Oh, that's right. I found them last time. They were all on the level 14 pigs, weren't they? Why didn't I remember that earlier? Oh, The level 14 pigs are so far away. They're not really. They're like just over that hill. But it's the opposite direction to where I want to go. Where's Mr. Borkle gone? Oh, there he is. Sometimes oh, yes! There's one. One more to go. Ooh, a cadet belt. What is that made of? Mail. Uh, that's right. I'll sell it. I will sell it to Saldine. Ooh, oats! And somebody's killed the Watcher that was guarding the oats. Yes! So we don't even have to fight it. Just got to avoid that coyote there. Because I'm really not in the, in the fighting mood. He's a person. Let's buff him on the way. I really just want one more pig with um, the liver. He's so far away, I can't buff him. There we go. So I want to hand in all three. Because that will surely ding me. There's a pig. Yeah, piggy, piggy, piggy. I see more oats. No. Where are all the oats today? I've seen like one set of oats this whole time. Yeah, and I saw something flash on my screen. I don't know what it was, and I thought it was a bird, but it's not. Mr. Borkblog's getting into it. <laughs> it's funny, sometimes he like, hangs out in front, sometimes he hangs out behind. He's pretty chill. Ooh, 12. Um, is it better than what I've got? Yes, that is twice as good as what I'm wearing, so let's equip that. But what does it even look like? Because I'm not showing my clothes at the moment. Yeah, it looks pretty boring. Okay. So the chickens doing all the way out here? I didn't know the chickens were all the way out here. They're all over near the front of the farm. Mm. Excuse me, I just have another drink. Mm. 
know that. Yeah, coyote, coyote, coyote. Wily. Is there one in there? Sometimes there's like one like right in there. But usually there's like one or two along the fence. The oats, but there's the last of the oats. Yes. Last of the odds for Blanche. Poor old Blanche. Okay, let's hand in Westfall stew since he's one done. Need help? Need help? She sounds so annoyed. Oh, I wasn't even reading the quest. That ochre will thicken up this broth nicely. Now we just add the stringy vulture meat, a few male guys. Oh! And this has got us now. And we're done. For all your help, Rosetta, I want you to take today's first batch of Westfall stew. Yay! And a bunch of other stuff. Some mitts. Safe travels. Yeah. And these gloves are like slightly better than what I'm wearing, so let's put them on. They look exactly the same. Just, just you know, fabulous. Here, I was thinking they were going to look different and be exciting. Need right. help? You were going to buy some of my trash, please. My chop, my old, old cloak, my belt. What other trash? Boar intestines. Oh, I was going to cook that boar meat quickly before I forget. While we're near the fireplace. Oh! Somebody killed a chicken. I heard it. <laughs> I wonder if somebody else is trying to befriend the chickens today. Maybe they saw my video and they're like, oh, so that's what you do. You spend 45 minutes just yelling at chickens. <laughs> Clucking like a chicken and eating chicken food like a chicken. I don't think they did. I think they just accidentally killed it or they just killed it because it was in their road. I didn't see a dead chicken, but I definitely heard a chicken dying. Not that I can judge. How many chickens did I kill? <laughs> Three? Four? Ugh. <sighs> Piggy, 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 piggy! Where is the piggies? That'll do, pig. That'll do. I always annoy the... <laughs> the quote is from an Australian movie. But I always try and... I always accidentally do it in a Scottish accent because I've seen Shrek too many times. And Shrek, that'll do, donkey. That'll do. Which is, you know, play on that will do, pig. That'll do. My brain gets mixed up and does this Australian quote in the Scottish accent. Yeah. That's not how it is. That you're doing the wrong one. That's the wrong accent. It's not the right accent. Yeah, well. Do you reckon I can pull this pig without a bird? Let's try that. Still well, he's not a murloc, so there you go. Doesn't care if the pig's being attacked. See now, murloc. The murloc would kill. Belly grub! Thank you, that is the pig in Red Ridge. I it's belly grub, and I always forget belly grub's name. Yes! 15! Oh, death's exciting. Uh, and there's my last liver! Oh, look at that! It was meant to be. But quickly, while I'm here, I want to use some talent points because I haven't done that yet. Let's put one more in blackout. And I do like to use spirit touch. Pretty good. Gives you a 20% chance to gain 100% of your spirit after killing a target that yields experience. Uh, for the duration, your mana will regenerate at 50% while casting. Last in, it lasts 15 seconds. That's pretty good. And I do I will put points in that, but I don't know if I want to do it. Yet, because look at this. Increases the duration of your Shadow Word Pain spell by 3%. <gasps> 3 seconds. 3 seconds. It's not even 3%. 3 seconds. That's pretty good. How long does it last for? 18 seconds. It's taking up to 21. Uh, reduces your target's chance to resist your Shadow Spells by 2%. Eh. Shadow Affinity reduces the threat generated. Well, I'm playing solo. So this is more if I was grouping with people, that would matter. Whereas I'm going to generate threat regardless when I'm soloing. So let's... Uh, extend the shadow word pain and then later I might put some points in spirit tap. Alright, let's go ahead and do this liver pie. What can I do for you? I need from a famous meat pie I ate Gortas, let us here go. 
These are just perfect. Rosetta, thank you so much. Farmer Saladin and I are going to feast tonight. And here's a little something for you. The hard work. I get the spare pies. You didn't think I was going to let a priest like you go hungry, did you? Nah. Be careful. Look at this mess. Look at these bugs. You see this? Bugs crawling all over us. Oh, she's got a nice shiny cooking bowl though. Look at this. That is stainless steel. Noise. Noise. But yeah, look at these creepy spiders crawling over it. Are they meant to be flies? They look like spiders. That is a big, big chopper knife that she's got in there. So what else has she got? Uh, some bottles and her rug. Let's go have a look upstairs. Just explore through her house. Why not? Oh! There's this pig head on the wall. It's looking at me. Look, look, it's looking sideways. It's like watching me. The creepy pig is watching me. Did we explore this last time? I feel like I probably did. I was like, I'm going to take a nap in the bed. And I always like to jump off the edge of the balcony just because I can. Because, you know, it's what normal people do when they visit people's houses, isn't it? Jump off balconies. What else? Uh, oats, that's right. Let's go feed Blanche. Then I need no pause and pillages and looters. And they're the ones to the south and Gold Coast Quarry. Have I been to the Moonbrook yet? Yes, it's on the map. Okay. I've opened up a bit of the map. Uh, I'll show you guys in a second. So I've got to open up a little bit more here, here, and here. So a little bit more exploring to do, but I've opened up most of it, which is pretty good. Did I open up all of Elwyn? No! I missed a couple of spots. Alright. Remind me next time that I need to finish exploring Elwyn Forest and Westfall. Because I want full maps. Because I'm an explorer. If I don't have full maps, it means I haven't explored properly. And I know I've explored it before a million times. But this is a stream series and I want to do everything properly. You know? When I do it my way, I explore the whole map. But when you're on your 68th tune, kind of gets a bit, oh, maybe I don't need to explore the full map this Good time. Good day to you. Good day to you too. Oh, Blanche, she's on our last leg. Did you happen to find oats for her? Yes, I did. And like, as soon as I get back here, there's like one, like right freaking there somewhere. I just saw it. I was like, of course there is. Like, of course, on the way back, there's one. But after I've got, finally got them all. Thank you so much, poor old Blanche. You'd be so happy. Look, give me an cloak that's not as good as the one I have and a four slot bag four slots safe travels safe travels to you too good luck getting out of town uh, what else have I got mm -hmm. I've got an heirloom I wonder if we can get that I feel like maybe not but we'll try so this is green which means it might might not be too hard so if we read it we'll do it properly uh, farmer Felbro wants you to retrieve his pocket watch from the wardrobe in the farmhouse of Punk at the pumpkin farm to the west. So if we, what are we going? So here's the pumpkin farm. But I think it's on the map. I think it says on the map. Felbro's pumpkin farm says so there. Let's go get the pocket watch. And look at that, three bars in already. See, it's like the other level dragged on. Oh, no. No. I don't have time for you. I'm not interested. Go away. Oh, I want to I want to kill the humans, not the animals. Somebody's been through and killed all the harvest watches again. All right, let's see if we can kill just her because she's got some friends in there. I don't really want to try and take on all three at once. We will though. Probably won't get a choice. So let's avoid using mana and stick to the wand for a little bit. Ooh. That worked. Okay. Oop. Sounded like there was two of them, but it's definitely only one. Right? Yeah, only one. Here we are, getting tied up again. Okay. Now, going for the ones in the house. Just a little bit of smite. 
A little bit of my extra long lasting shadow and pain now. Mind blast. There's the other guy. Okay, so let's bubble. Now, a lot of other people use, like, they're like, oh, I've got two enemies on me. I'll use Psychic Scream. And I'm like, I don't, unless I'm running. Because if I do it while I'm fighting, what happens is they'll run off, grab some friends, and come back. Oh no! I totally clicked that! Oh, now when I come back, by the time I run all the way back there, they'll have respawned. And they'll kill me. But I totally clicked on Desperate Prayer. That's so unfair. And because when you get Power World Shield, you can't be shielded again for 15 seconds. You can only do it once every 15 seconds. And I get attacked a lot more than once every 15 seconds. Also takes me way less than 15 seconds to die by, at the hands of an enemy. Who is that level with me? <sighs> so this is where the night elves have the advantage because when they're dead, they run faster. <sighs> and check my money. That'll go down again as soon as I pay for repairs. I feel like no matter how much I try, I always end up with the same amount of money at <laughs> the start of the end. <laughs> I'm not very good at making money. I told one of my friends how to make money the other day. And it worked like instantaneously and he made like 200 bucks and I'm like, yep, you made 200 gold and I do the exact same thing and make literally no money. Because that's my luck. There we go. <laughs> I don't get the good drops. Let's rebuff, rebuff, loot, heal, uh, let's eat an egg, at the last of the eggs, hey? Next time I'll eat my worst. Well, see, look, worst fall stew does nothing. It just like regenerates health. But the Gortas little pie regenerates health, and you become well fed. And you get four stamina and spirit for fifteen minutes, which is pretty good. But a waste of my chocolate. I only got to have it on for like as a buff for like ten minutes, if that. Because I died. When you die, you lose all your buffs. That's just how it works. This is what I like. Look, because he had the stun, I got away with um, getting him to half life before he even got near me, Benny Blanco. Mr. Blanco. I always wondered if he was like for a quest, but and I'm, you know, because he's got a name, but I've never, never been on the quest to kill him or like, talk to him or anything. So I don't know. There we go. There's a pocket watch. All right, let's go hand this in. Then we have to walk back to town because I already used up my uh, Hearthstone with 38 minutes on the cooldown. Yep, that's right. Harvest Watch does come after me and don't run away with my Psychic Scream because why would it work on Harvest Watches? You know, yep. Why would it? Um, excuse you. I'm running. Running away from you. Okay. Well, we made it out of that alive. Ish. Ish. Currently alive right now. Do, 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 do. There's my little dot that I like to see. See where? I, oh, that's there. Look, see? Oh, it's like right there. Meanwhile, I was running around town looking everywhere. Hello. Look at his hair. There's a couple of piggy tails. Pippi Longstocking. Don't mind his overalls, though. I can make a pair of them eventually. I'm going to get my sewing up. Do I suppose you're able to get the watch? Yes, I was! My watch! Thank you so much, lady! Or well, kind lady. Yes, kind lady. We are but poor farmers. We've lost our land. Please accept this reward of a tech. Milk! Yes! Ice cold milk! See you later. UHT milk, though, I bet. Well, maybe is this super fresh from... Wait. Yes, from his cow. Right there, he's got a cow, so... It could be fresh milk. Certainly fresher than the ones off the other guys. Alright. So what else? we got no pause. 
the treasure, the price of shoes. Oh, gold shire. Yeah, that's right. Let's run to gold shire and hand that in. To Argus. Smith Argus. Assessing the threat. Ah, mongrel's poachers. Yeah, okay. So we've got a few more quests to do in West's Fall, but it might be worth... It's be for next time. Doing a bit of these and then a bit of those. Because I think they're all about... These guys like level... I don't know, 14. I think they're level 14, 15. Mm. Although, who knows? Maybe next time there'll be a fair in town. I never know when it's coming. I'm sure there's like a calendar that tells you. And I could look it up. But I like the surprise of like, oh, the fair's in town. Because there is some cool stuff I want to do when the fair comes to town. Had a lot of fun last time. I learned something new. That I will absolutely show you guys. When next time it's in town. It usually lasts a while. So whenever it does come back, I'll be able to... It should, shouldn't expire before the stream. Not like the Valentine's thing that went for barely a week and then it was over. Well, I am so glad I got in on that. Because when I went back, I was thinking, oh yeah, the Lunar Festival lasted for ages and ages and ages. I'm like, oh yeah, this one will last for a couple of weeks. Nope. The Valentine's Day did not last long at all. So I'm very glad I got in when I could. Well, somebody killed a rabbit. That was probably the wolf. You know the wolves kill the rabbit? If you watch the wolves, they'll like run out and like kill a rabbit. Just, you know, the little things that I watch them do. You can just sit there and watch them. But then they'll come and attack you if you get too close. So, Even if you're a 60, if you get too close to those stupid wolves, they will come after you. Like, I know there's threat range and, you know, it's supposed to be really small. And, you know, the higher level you are, the smaller your range of aggro. But I'm like, I swear they just come after me no matter what level. No matter how close. But usually if I'm 60, I'm on a mount and I'm just, like, running through. Like, you can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. Give me a bit. Hey, there's a guy with a quest. I'm looking for a man with a quest. Have you seen what can him? I do for you? Have you seen him? Smith Argus? What can I do for you? The price of shoes. A Verna's note. Yes. I was, I was wondering what that was for. Uh, what's that? Verna sent you, you say? Give me his note. And speak up! He's yelling. He's yelling at me. Continue. <laughs> so old Vernon needs some shoes. Does he? Does he? Yes, he does. That's why he wrote you the note. Okay. I'll give him his 50 horseshoes. Here they are. All boxed up and ready to go. Tell Vernon it was a pleasure doing business. I'm sure he reads the note attached to this crate. Return to Verna Osgood in Redridge and give him the crate of horseshoes. Okay. Accept. For the alliance. For the alliance. There is a note attached to this crate. Right click to read. Let's read the note. A note is attached to the crate. It reads, Verna, sorry to hear Red Ridge is having such trouble. Here are the shoes you need. Please pay me 100 silver at your earliest convenience. Or if you like, you can pay me in underbelly scales from the black dragon whelps. I hear dragon whelps are common in the Red Ridge Mountains. Because we're friends, four scales will be enough. Thanks, Argus. Pretty cool. I never ever read that note. I didn't even know you could read that note, and I've done this quest at least 50 times. At least 50. The amount of alts I have. Because, you know, you only need to be like level 12 to get that quest or something stupid. It's pretty low. Alright, well, let's hand that in. Then I might, I might call it a night. I'm going to go hang out the washing that I didn't get to finish because the washing machine didn't finish on time and it went off with like five minutes to stream and I hung on with one thing and I'm like and I gotta go <laughs> I know I could have just started the stream late but I don't like doing that I like to be punctual uh, if I commit to a time I like to try and think that I'll meet it and prioritize being consistent I only do it once well lately I've been doing it twice a week but I'm only trying to schedule for one a week Try and meet that. <sighs> Plus, you know, if you tell someone you're going to be somewhere at a time, you should be there at that time. You make them wait.
Well, yeah, some people do. But it's funny. It's like people, you know, you say be there at six and you've got people who rock up at six on the dot and people who rock up at like seven. You might have the occasional person who might rock up at like 5.45 or something. No, I'm the kind of person who will rock up at like 5.30 be, and be like, this is way too early, so then I'll sit in the car for half an hour. And then at like 6.02 or 3, I'll be like, okay, it's just after 6 now, I'll go in. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm an awkward person. But I just, you know. Depends what it is, though, I guess. You know, sometimes parties and stuff, people kind of expect you to be a little bit late. I know, people are always late to my parties. People, Somebody will rock up on time and be like, Whoa, hey! <laughs> you want a drink? <laughs> you and me can drink together! Because I always try and make sure I'm ready to go. And then every now and then somebody will come, like, half an hour early, and I'm like, well, you're early. You know what that means? <laughs> you get to help. Because <laughs> that's the thing, if you rock up to someone's house early, you, you should expect to be put to work. Especially if you, you know, you know them and you're friends and if you don't know them and you're not friends, you should, I mean, one way you're going to their house. No, <laughs> maybe, who knows? Um, yeah, there's a lot of etiquette and rules and, yeah, I don't know, if you're going to be early, you should warn them at least and be like, hey, do you mind if I come early? I'm around. And I always wanted to have that sort of house that people just rock up. Be like, hey, I'm five minutes away. Can I stop in? But I don't have that kind of friend. So. But I decided to be that kind of friend nowadays. I'm like, ah, oh, Mountain so and so's house. I'll send him a message and be like, hey, what you doing? Mind if I pop by with some wine? I did that to my friend the other day and she's like, oh my god, I really like that wine, but I'm actually not home right now. And I'm like, oh, yeah, well, that's easy. <laughs> she's like, oh, if there's any other night, I would have been like, come over, give me the wine. See, I found it any worse at this fence running business. I kind of used to be better at it. These are the hard ones where there's like the lantern on the end because you've got to jump off at the end anyway. When you can't see it's behind a bush. Oh, I am loving this keyboard. Like, I just, the clicking. Clicky, clicky, clicky. Just so satisfying. Like it's my like uh, this whole year. That's my favorite purchase. Like I've got this fancy schmancy new monitor and it's gorgeous. Um, you know, graphics are really good and frame rate and you know, ah, oh, it's fabulous. But my keyboard, man, <laughs> it's pink and has cherry blossoms and it makes a clicky sound. Uh, I'm a thick girl. I like bright colours and soft fabrics. It's me. <laughs> Rinse Noir's kind of girl. Oh, I'm back in contested territory. I don't know why Red Ridge would be contested territory. There's no horde safe area that I know of. I mean, that's Alliance. That's like NPC enemy, NPC enemy. There's nowhere for the horde guys to go. So why is it contested? They just made it that way so that there was more contested areas for... Or is it like anything over a particular level? It's contested, maybe. I don't know. I don't... I like to say I don't usually play on PvP server, but I looked the other day and my original server that I started on back in vanilla was PvP, so now I really don't know. Maybe it changed to PvP? I'm not sure. But my main one that I play on these days is not PvP. And, you know, you don't get flagged and you don't have to worry about enemy players attacking you. Unless you, you know, attack a NPC with a thing on it or you do a particular quest that flags you for P P um, PvP. Like a goblin with the click-clack math rocks. Yes! Click-clack math rocks. Click-click-click. Does me. It's like the three different people who, what is it, the three types of people who collect dice? It's like the, what is it, the humans got his one set or something and the elves got like a few really nice sets and then the goblin like click clack, <laughs> all the different dice. 
Well, I'd like to have a few really nice sets, but I have a lot of really nice sets, which I guess puts me into goblin territory for the click clack. I do have some really nice dice. I think my pride and joy is the rose quartz set. Absolutely gorgeous. Swimming! But the um, rainbow uh, zinc alloy ones are really nice too. Very heavy, like really heavy. Or well, both sets are really heavy. And it's sort of really satisfying to give my proper roll. Alright, let's talk to Verna. Can I help you? Ah, uh, you're back. You got the shoes? Yes, I got those shoes. Check out these sexy shoes. Thank you. Ah, oh, I missed it. Damn it. But see all that green thing that looked like I was leveling? That was my reputation going up. So I'm now honoured with Stormwind. Which is very cool. We'll look at that in a second. Okay. Hey, ma'am, do you think you could give me a hand with something? I really now I'm annoyed that I skipped through what he was saying about the shoes. I'm sorry. No, nobody cares. Like, people are probably like, no, we don't care. But I care. Because I've never I've never read it before. And this was, like, my one time that I'm like, I'm going to read everything. And I just, you know, jump back into old habits. Uh, do you think you can give me a hand with something? I'm really in dire straits. He wants underbelly scales. I need some underbelly scales from the Black Dragon Whelps to pay for... The shoes Argus sent me from Goldshire. If you could get six of them for me, I could pay Argus with some. That's right, because you only need a four to pay Argus. And have enough left to fashion something for you. Ooh. Black dragon mobs are often flying around the south of Lakeshire. Uh, but they like to wander. You might just have to keep your eye out and hunt them when you see them. What is it? Leather boots, leather gloves. Well, neither of those are helpful for have me, but one. we'll take the quest anyway. You need something? Baying of Knolls. Uh, as if attacking the orcs, as if the attacking orcs weren't enough, now I have knoll brutes and mystics prowling along the ridge north of the stable, taking my horses when they stray. Why are your horses straying? If you can get rid of those knolls, my horses and I will be very grateful. See okay. you later. See you. Well, and if this guy's got a quest, it's because I've dinged. I'm 15 now, I can pick up like a Good bunch of extra you. quests. Uh, lost tools. I can really use a hand here. Is that a with the town under siege. It's been hard to get supplies. Oh, he's the guy fixing the bridge, is he? Uh, my tools were being delivered from Goldshire by the wagon, but the bridge was blown out. We put the tools in a boat, but the orcs hit us with a catapult. Just my luck. My toolbox sent right to the bottom of the lake. Retrieve my toolbox and I'll make it way to one. Okay, Safe let's travel. do that. Alright, well, I think that's probably enough for tonight. And we'll go to... Actually, can we pick up any of these? Wanted. Let's read the wanted poster. Gazelzog. Wanted. Gathilazog. Wanted. Gathilazog, leader of the Black Rock, attacks on Stonewatch Keep and raids against the township of Lakeshire. Gazelzog is extremely dangerous. He is reportedly holed up in the recently conquered keep, plotting the Black Rock clan's further crimes against humanity. Crimes against humanity. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, the orc infestation must be quelled at all costs. A uh, gracious reward will be given to whatever brave soul can deliver the head of Grathel Zog to Magistrate Solomon. Okay, let's accept that, even though there's no way I can do that now. That's like a level 20-something quest. Or a group quest, if I can never get a group. Uh, look, he's got another quest for me as well. I'm... But this is another one I can't do for ages, but we'll Being pick it up anyway. Friend. He's wanted Gal... The Zog. Okay. Who is the priest who goes before the court of Legshire in the kingdom of Stormwind? Oh, he's so formal. Uh, state your business within the township, human. Human? <sighs> okay. I'll take that. I am a human. The orc threat to the kingdom is far too great to squander times in idle conversation. And yet you're so formal. Messenger to Stormwind. These are trying times. Priest, the township is under constant siege. Without reinforcements, we will certainly face defeat. Message I now entrust to you is the utmost important. Get this to General Marcus Jonathan of the Stormwind of Stormwind immediately. Once your delivery is made, return to me at once with any news, be it good or bad. Now make haste. Okay. Go with honor, friend. Go with honor, friend. Farewell. All right, let's go to the inn. And call it a day. I'll keep Westfall as. Oh, let's actually. Sell I some supply stuff only while the finest goods. Don't want that. 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 And don't want that. So, recipes that I can't use yet. So I'll put that in the bank next time I'm near the bank. See you later. Oh, I should have sold that 
Good day to you. Blanche's blanket. Have a good one. Mm -hmm. Another wanted poster. Wanted Lieutenant Fangor. Known leader of the Shadowhide Knoll clan working under the enemy of the township and kingdom. Morgant by mandate of Magistrate Solomon. His vile betrayer of Stormwind is wanted dead. Show his poor to the Magistrate proof of his death. Oh, look at all that money. I've never had so much money. But that again, that quest is going to have to wait until I am like way higher. Because I am way too po. Um, low level, I mean. Greetings. Oh, what's this guy want? Dry times. I find myself in quite a pinch here. Right? Some of the bottles are close to running dry. The latest booze shipment is long overdue. Orc invasion, Orc invasion has been held. Perhaps you can go to work for me. I need you to pick up a keg of Thunderbrew Lager from Grimboo's Thunderbrew in the Westfall Hills. I can do that. Uh, I don't know where he is. He's a bit tricky to get to, but that's what the hops is for. I need the hops to. I need to give him hops to get that Thunderbrew. Uh, cask of Mellow from Stormwind. Okay, that's easy. A bottle of Moonshine from Darkshire, and a skin of sweet rum from Goldshire. Oh, I was just at Goldshire. Should have bought it while I was there. Damn it. <sighs> It's so typical Rose, though, eh? <laughs> so typical me. <sighs> Sometimes I think I plan ahead and I'm like, so organized, and then other times I'm like, I was literally at Gulcha. I could have just bought the sweet rum. Uh, bring those back to me and I'll see that you're rewarded. Okay. What do I get? A bulging coin purse. Well, I do need a coin purse for my... Ooh, 28 silver. I'm actually doing all right today. It's like double what I normally have. Okay. For the alliance. Yes, for the alliance. Well, let's quickly cook up this meat so I can get rid of it as well. No, I keep saying like I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go. I'm like, oh, just do one more thing. I'll just do one more thing. I'll just do one more thing. That's what this game does. You, you think something? you're done, and then it's like, oh, hang on. While I'm here, I'll just do my banking, Help and I'll find just... something. No, I can't cook those yet. What am thirty-eight? Be careful. So I can't even use the patterns yet. Uh, recipes, not patterns. Well met. What kind of cat she got? Looks like a silver tabby. Nani. Mm. Alright, well, let's sit down here. Chill out here. Not quite by the fire. Actually, yeah, let's go sit by the fire. I like the idea of sitting by the fire. Oh, he's that warrior dude. This guy gives you, like, a warrior... If you're a warrior, he gives you, like, this quest where you have to, like, drink this, like, super strong booze and then, like, run around killing things while you're totally smashed. <laughs> I didn't know that. The first time I did it, I was like, what? And my character's like running around with like half hunched over and like wobbling all over the place. And I was like, this is so weird because I've gotten my tunes drunk before, but never like that. <sighs> anyway, it's funny. Uh... Oh, good night, Backseat Gamer. Have it. <laughs> I love you too, buddy. I miss you. A coin purse full of copper and buttons, right? Right? It will not have a lot of money in it. It would be nice if it did. Especially when you think about how much money I'm going to have to spend buying all those freaking booze bottles and then I'll probably spend like 20 silver and then it'll probably be like the reward is like five. All right. I'll end it there. Um, good night. I'll see you guys next week. Same time next week. All right. Bye.